Um, it's definitely something to do with the ringtone, because we, like, harped on it too much. Boy, wh where did you finally find yourself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are too much. Dylan, are you actually smushing your face? Obviously. Yeah, good, good, good. good. <laughs> we strive for realism here. Oh, yeah, here. guys, <laughs> we, we were acting it out. And, of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. Oh my god, now I remember! Blackness? Aw. <laughs> Still a great pose. It is a fantastic pose. I love the pose. Ugh, looks like they hung up. Good. I finally found it. Bonk! Bonk. I'm oh, a force of nature. nature. Bonk! So he took it, and now this phone is his new phone. I think that's what it is. Mm. I think mm. he did take the phone and he switched it. A flip, a flip. What's wrong, Mr. Returning? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but if you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot-free! I know! I know this phone has to be his, but how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright! Are there no ca like, security cameras in the courtroom, please? <laughs> If you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. I don't, I don't like that statement not being with the first half of it. I, I, it hurts. Pain. Where? Where yes, I yes, wrong? Mr. Wright? A day late and a dollar is short! There... Ugh. Okay. Is there something uh, you uh, want, Mr. Wright? A penny short, Mr. Wright, a penny short. Keep saying my name. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. You're really a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Oh, I just remembered who I am. We're getting philosophical Honestly. here. The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. what? <laughs> Where do you get your lawyer strength, Mr. Wright? <laughs> From my friends! <laughs> <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Oh no, you don't get back here. Oh, whew, whew, uh, th thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bone appetite. What am I supposed to do? It's a pain just said bone appetite. Am I supposed to just <laughs> let that go? I'm gonna raise an objection. I don't like that it was wait and see versus raise an objection. I really don't like please that. Please wait, your honor. All right, Nick. I, I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it. I don't like prove how much what, help Mr. we've Wright. taken on the tutorial. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, me neither. Everything. Objection, your honor. The cross-examination has already ended. Besides, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Mm. Oh, flip, flip, flip. Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Tap, please, your honor. Very well, but this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. <sighs> you may present one piece of evidence to the court. Oh. oh. I only get one oh. shot at this. Oh, 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 no, 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 All right, just to make sure that there are real stakes for tonight. If Ori gets this wrong, the stream ends. No, no, that's Dylan lame. leaves. Well, then you're just a Is butt. it lame? Yes. The stakes are high. Oh my god. If you god cannot prove everything. Dylan. I think I meant to say anything. <laughs> it's over for your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Uh, y yes, your honor. I'm, I'm sure you're well aware, your honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. That AI failing you again, huh? Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? No. <laughs> I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence, in case you forgot. I didn't forget because I wasn't listening at all, but, um, oh. Mm -hmm. Now then, Mr. Wright. This is your last chance. Last chance for real. It all comes down to this. It's go time. Please present the one piece of evidence it's that will explain. Three. It's three. It's three. Five. It should be five because that's it. Um, this one. What? Because we wrote what? a number Why? on the back and he remembered about the phone number right before he got like knocked out. There's literally nothing else. Please, why do we have this business card if not to present it right now? We presented everything else. Like, like, please. 
I want to do this one. All right, I'm willing to take a chance. Listen, I'm happy hand, for you to do it. Hand it's wrote very my funny. cell phone number on the back. I think it's this one. Maybe. I think it's this one. Because it wasn't actually his cell phone. He was like kind of unsure with the ringtone thing, remember? And this is from when he was amnesia y. Mm -hmm. So I think it's this one. Ooh, okay, go ahead. Take that! Yes! Uh, I'm scared. Why? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's actually on. Um, Why? Phoenix's Thank number. you. How nice. Exactly. I don't think it's Phoenix's number. Sure. Please have one of mine. <laughs> this is such a very Japanese it's... thing. This is not an American in, thing. In case you're ever in trouble, I guess. Oh, wow. Let's see Paul, Paul Allen's business card. But I can't read the, it. The, it zooms into your face. The beautiful pearl eggshell color. Oh, the right. ridged, embossed, edged in letters. <laughs> no. What it's am I doing? Perfect. <laughs> this isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, that was not the point. There's something very important about that card. And that is... Uh, the back of the card, with the number on it. Obvious. Tap! This card is important because of what is on the back. Hmm? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it! Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? But court is still in session! It's okay, you'll see. Okay, if you say so. Her phone got a new sprite. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We're going to call my quote-unquote cell phone now, and then the court will see everything for what it is. All the idiotic, stupid things to... Oh, Phoenix has a much better ringtone. It's a banger. Ah! No, he took it's in Phoenix's his pocket. phone. Yes. Oh. Holy What? Nice work, detective! You got that? <laughs> I didn't get that! Jesus. What? Why is my phone... What is with this stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington. Oh, this ah! would be beautiful. Hmm, how strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone. And you deleted all my contacts. <laughs> you're! Ah, oh, damn it. Could you say ah! he erased the memory? No, 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 no. It can't. By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. I'll be pressing charges for that. I don't think I need to explain any further. Except to say, Tap, when you went to retrieve your phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one because apparently we have identical ones. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah. What? <laughs> he choked himself out? I guess so. So that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. Oh boy, we really should have kept a better eye on him. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and lost all ability to make rational judgments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fatality. Then, then, Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding... ...is Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, uh, how is he, Mr. Payne? Uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Dragged, as it were. <laughs> Oh good, I was worried he was still on the court floor. Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Two, two, not guilty. Betty in the courtroom. That is all. This court is adjourned. All right, hear me out. I propose we stop the law and order. Do do. I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I am so moved by what you've done for me, sir. Ah, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. Yeah, is is Maggie okay? Shouldn't she be grieving? It's. Probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Damn. Your whole life? You should have been called that Murphy Bird. <laughs> it can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. What the f- What? How did you live? What? Onto a trampoline. Apparently. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of food. Why are you a police officer? Failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. Damn. And never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. Oh my god, <laughs> that is sad. That's telling. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. Is a magpie like a bad omen? That's a... Mm, possibly. Pretty bad. Mainly the tic-tac-toe thing. Up until I went to college, I was known as the 
out of some misfortune. Damn. And then, at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Damn. <laughs> Lady Luckless. Man, people are cruel. Yeah. What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch on to those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Oh, uh, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. Oh no. I gave her my hand and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. What? How is that a huh? bad thing? Wait, what? Uh. Oh? Oh? I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true. That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. Uh. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault! Dustin's death! So were they dating or not? <laughs> I barely <I> know. <laughs> Your head being all messed up? Yeah, I should probably get that checked out, but uh, I don't think it's that messed up yet, at least compared to what it was before. Ouch! I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Uh, good, good luck about that. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it! I promise! Next time we meet, I'll only be an lucky person instead of a goddess <laughs> Baby yeah, steps. yeah that's the spirit well mr right maya i should get going <laughs> okay good luck to you ouch thing you take care of yourselves too all right then <sighs> what a horrible day i've gotten my memory back but things are still a little mm, fuzzy but you're okay and that's what counts you really had me worried. I mean, if I didn't go down fully dead by, like, that freaking 6,000 watt taser, I think, I think I'm think i pretty indestructible at this point. Come on, let's go back to the office. <sighs> Maybe get some ice for your head. I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back. At that moment, everything really did come back to me when she Just slapped me. Climb it. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases, but he's also been a good ally during others. The Judge. He's a lovable, kind, idiotic old man who's always easily swayed by other people's opinions. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict, even if he needs a little help. This person... I haven't got a clue. He seems to know me, <laughs> but, uh, maybe he's mistaking me for someone else. He seems a bit pompous for his, uh, stature. And this girl... Uh, m Maya? You, you finally remember. Aww. This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right, I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example, uh... Earth Clue Nick! What's wrong? You keep staring at me. Don't tell me you've missed me. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now. So it's time for us to create new memories together. Alright, sounds good. All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. <laughs> I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick. Let's go to our usual burger joint. Oh no, does he no longer have Edgeworth's phone number now? <gasps> he doesn't. Oh. No, the boyfriend! Uh, okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since she came back into my life. And that story, that story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Yeah. Oh, so we're going Woo! back in time now for the next one? I think that's what's I, happening. I not guess exactly so. Sure. All right. All right, seems we're entering a lolly turnabout. Oh my god, okay. no. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us, we're live Twitch and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>